Hey everyone, we are back with another makeup video on my channel. I'm Cheyenne, if you don't already know. And yeah, we're just gonna be doing my makeup, as you can tell by the name of this title. It's a no foundation look, and it's what I've been rocking when I just want to feel nice and pretty without feeling like I have to cover up my skin. I've already prepped and primed my skin, um, did my skincare, did my sunscreen, and I, as you can just see, I just applied some Fenty Beauty Primer. I did my eyebrows off camera, and I'm just going to be setting them with some brow gel from Anastasia. This is my holy grail brow product. It is the one thing that keeps my eyebrows in place. As you can see, I got some thick boys here, so you gotta make sure they stay where you want them. Next, I'm going to be using the Born This Way concealer from Too Faced. And no joke when I say this has been my go-to concealer for the past year because it just does the damn thing every time. I like to spray setting spray onto my beauty blender just to mix in with the product. And one other tip that I wanna share with you guys is after you apply your concealer, let it dry for 30 seconds to a minute, depending on how much you like to use. And this way you get more coverage out of the application. And by doing it this way, you also end up using less product. And this is how I'm going to achieve this really skin-like finish at the end of the video. To set my face, I like to use the Laura Mercier setting powder in the honey shade. I used to be such a big fan of the translucent shade until I realized that it was just a bit too light for me. It would just leave a white cast all over my face and I didn't really like that as much. And this honey one, what's nice about it is that I feel like it has some yellow undertones to it that it also helps to color correct and this helps cover up my dark circles and that's a pretty big win in my book. Right? using the Fenty bronzer and I believe Private Island. I'm just bronzing away. So on all of the parts of my face that I want to look more snatched. So my cheekbones, I just kind of follow that natural line that you guys see. And even that little amount of bronzer just makes such a difference. Y'all see my cheekbones coming out? I know you do. And then I also just like to bronze my forehead. I'm such a big fan of a bronzy forehead, so.
Next, I'm just going to be using the e.l.f. blush just to add some color back into my face. As you can see, I'm just kind of following along where my bronzer is just to make everything meet and look really seamless. Just put a little bit on my forehead, on my cheeks, and on my nose. And I forgot to do this earlier when I was bronzing, but I'm just taking this contour stick just to add a little more definition to my nose. And then I always like to bring it up towards my crease just to make everything look, again, seamless. The point is to make this look like skin. Jackie Anna has a really good video on nose contour and that's kind of where I get this from. What I like to do to make my bronzer contour and blush just look more cut and just precise I just like to use some setting powder right underneath my cheekbones and I just like to follow that natural line and this just helps create a nice lift to my face as you guys can see and you'll see at the end how snatched my face looks. I did this off camera but I used the same Fenty bronzer that I used on my face to um, use as my transition shade and then I just take this Morphe palette and just define my crease I just use a small tapered brush with like a darker brown color and I just kind of go in there Using the two darkest colors in this palette, I take an eyeliner brush and I use that to, can you guess, do my eyeliner. I always like to spray it with some setting spray just to make the colors pop a little bit more. And this looks going to be really simple. It's not going to be a crazy eye look today, but it's just going to be a kind of like eyeliner with some red in there and just kind of shade it out. Um, so smoky eyeliner. That would have been easier to say the first time. And as you can see, I take this other flat brush with this more reddish color that kind of matches my crease color. And I just kind of use it to smoke out the brown that I just applied there. I like to go in with a thinner, smaller eyeliner brush to make the darker colors appear a little more darker and then it also just helps to sharpen up the eyeliner that's closest to my lash line. So I've done both eyes and I always just like to go back with some concealer and just clean up any leftover specks or just to define the eyeliner even more. Next up, we have mascara, so I'm just applying some eyelash primer before I go in with my waterproof mascara from Maybelline. And I never do my mascara without this primer because it really helps to bring out my very short eyelashes and make them look just a bit longer. And you guys will see the difference when I'm done. Next, I'm going to be using my Becca highlighter and I'm just putting the brush inside. It got all over my mirror because it's broken. <laughs> Rest in peace to Becca, that's probably the last highlighter I'll ever have from them. And I'm not really big on highlighting nowadays, but I always just like to do a little bit. As you can see, I don't put a lot, but just enough to just make my cheekbones really glowy. We're doing the lips next, my favorite part. 
I'm just removing my lip balm and then I'm just going back in with my beauty blender that has a little bit leftover product. Um, for some reason, my lip liner always looks best when there's a little bit of foundation around the outer, um, outer part of my lips. And then I'm also just going to be trying to remove the setting powder underneath my cheekbones. As you can see, I was struggling. And then I'm just using this NYX lip liner in Nude Truffle. This is the perfect nude shade. And I feel like I use this every single time I'm going to do a lip. Because it just does something to my lip. I don't even have to explain it. Like, you guys can just see it. You guys can see it. Lo and behold, you guys see it. I also like to use this darker brown color from NYX and just kind of go over everywhere that I just use the new truffle color. This just really adds a little bit more definition since it's a darker color. I especially like to use this on the outer corners of my lips. Kind of like a, I don't know, like a halo lip. You guys know what a halo eye is. Kind of like a halo lip. It does something though. I don't know what it does, but it does something for my lip. <laughs> it's one of my favorite combos to use together. To finish off the lips, I just like to add a little bit of color, so I use the Sephora Lip Gel, and just a really nice pigmented pinky tone. It also kind of matches my blush, and I feel like it just help ties the look all together, and just makes my lips look amazing. And then topping it off with some clear lip gloss that I got from the beauty supply store because that's where you find the best clear lip glosses. To finish off this entire look, we're just going to be setting our face with some setting spray and I always like to fan it out just so it dries quicker. Here is the finished look for this video. And now I'm just going to be serving you guys face. You're so welcome. But if you like this video, you guys already know what to do. Feel free to comment, give it a like, and share.